She wears at the inn, and she wore it during the interview a few days ago, too. Oh, I hope she's not gone. I got gone. worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. No! I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... No way! I Calm like down. that girl, too. I get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? <sighs> no! You s you summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chio. What's that supposed to mean? <clears throat> Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? I hope not. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Um, I just want to say, Barry, that um, Twitch only gives me the option between the Golden and Arena. That's all I can pick. I can't pick the original, unfortunately. Give her another call. No good. Her voicemail picked up. Oh no. She's not answering. Damn. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko san inside that place? something guys don't give me any spoilers in the stream I appreciate oh, that or or she might be helping at the inn I mean, she wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it yeah but would she skip school for that well I'll give the inn a call um got the number here somewhere come on pick up come on, Yukiko pick up pick up She's not. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, no, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Oh, she's not gone. That is a fixer in my she's inquisitive. Over at the inn. I think the inn has something to do with that, Junies. Jun she June. said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Of course. Yeah, now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the end tomorrow, too. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud, Yosuke! You got me worried over nothing! <laughs> she was totally fine! And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <sighs> <laughs> so sorry. But there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. Yes. <clears throat> it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. That's totally what I thought, yes. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Alright, let's meet up at Juness after school. Juness. That says Junes, though. How am I meant to say Juness? This should be like a, a thing over the E. You explained to Chi, Chi, in detail <laughs> about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. Okay. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Fair enough. Yeah, no kidding. No, oh, you're kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Barry, you sound like Caitlin. How? By talking to that teddy guy? <laughs> if you guys are worrying in this video, who am I talking to randomly? It's because I'm live streaming. 
Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. I got it. Come here a sec. Okay. Let's see. What's gonna happen? Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. And stick your hand in. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? I agree, mate. I love the music. It's really awesome. You tried beckoning Teddy over. <laughs> my 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 vibrating controller rumbled and I was like what? Something bit you. What's wrong? Shh, not so loud, you idiot. Dude, is that a bite mark? Are yeah, you okay? bit me really hard. My hand shook. Um, I think I'm gonna cry. Let's try that. Oh come on, don't cry. Oh, Just she she bear must have done it. She got the hearts for me, baby. <laughs> hey, you. We know you're in there. He's not gonna hear us through. Oh, is this a game? <laughs> a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. <laughs> I'm a lonely little bear. So, so there's no one inside? You're sure? How does she know? She's never oh she met him once, didn't she? Yeah. Uh, I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. <laughs> uh, Ten points to Barry. I I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Invite your family, Barry. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but... Okay. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? <clears throat> sure, ma. Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Possibly. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. I hope so, too. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. I can't afford a phone. You exchange cell numbers for Yosuke. Yosuke. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. I do every night. Porn, twelve o'clock every night. Was it ready, Kyoki, who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Like a boss. Forgot to say that bit, didn't I? Barry, share the stream with all your fans of Japanese RPGs. Okay, so what's going on? Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. Fair enough. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. Damn. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, sure enough, but you suck. She's Barry. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. But I'm sure not. I know. I fucking know. <laughs> found the cause of death for the first thing. Now we got a second one just like it. Damn boy, you suck balls. If this is a murder case. There's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. Hmm. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? Your mom's going on. You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. <clears throat> No, 
That singer, the Suzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She Damn, was performing boy. overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. This guy sounds so tired, I think I'm gonna have to change the graphics card in a moment. <laughs> No one would put themselves under suspicion that I way if they had. Think we're lagging ever so slightly. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. Well, damn you, boy. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. I totally can't agree, find Barry. Anything that shows Yamano making. Well, damn you, boy. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead. He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Then we have the second case regarding Saki Konishi. Damn. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. Yeah, Barry. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. Okay. Okay, guys, like I'm just gonna flip my um, sat in, so I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, guys, we are back. Let's see what's going on. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. What? Ten points, you boy. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. For sure. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Everybody died. Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. Possibly. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Sure. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? See what happens. I'm going home. I'm tired. Living room. Welcome home. Hello, Naniko. We save the game. Save the game, dog. <laughs> yes, overwrite. Because I'm playing on a PS3 too. Let's see what's going on, TV man. Hmm. This answer is hard. Naniko is absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. See, she's the first possible victim ever. Exactly, Naniko is so the first victim. The, the, you know, the villain. Let's see what the forecast is. Sunny, sunny, sunny in clouds. Fair enough, but anyway, we come home to go to bed. Let's see what's in the fridge. Fridge. Nothing catches your eye. Okay, let's go to bed. It's raining. Something might appear on the midnight channel. Watch TV in your room. Yes, of course. If anyone's going to give me any spoilers, I'll turn live stream off. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? I should. Okay. Good evening. 
ending. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. What I'm out fuck? to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. That was so naughty. <clears throat> Kitty panties. That was definitely Yokiko on the Midnight Channel just now. Pa 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 pa, whatever that means. Hey, did you see that? That was Yokiko san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? For sure, yeah. She sounded like a slag. And she looked like she was on some low budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? Um, try to connect to it. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, crap, I don't know her number. Oh, yeah, I can just call Chia. Scott Chia. Oh, Scott Sunday. So let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Okay. You promised to meet up with Yo. Kusi tomorrow. I can't say these words. You decided to go to bed early tonight. You always go to bed early. I mean, 12 o'clock channel anyway. That's, that's kind of late. Okay, sunny. So, in the other world, it's going to be sort of misty, I assume. Isn't it? When the, when the, when the mist clears up. Oh, good morning. Good morning to you. It seems the only Nakusa na, na, Nanako is here. It seems so. You were up here today, early today. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. She wants a D. <laughs> he woke up early, so I woke up with him. He said he's gonna be late. Damn boy. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone. To look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yakuza. Are you going somewhere? <clears throat> I'll be fine by myself. Shut up, you're an evil little bitch. <laughs> so the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Oh, this girl works too hard. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Down your knickers, girl. <laughs> hmm. You decide to go out. Early morning, daytime. That was pretty, pretty. Sorry for the hold up. That's totally fine, dude. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. <laughs> in the closet? Would that be a large dildo? <laughs> Take a look at these. Two dildos. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, no. which one strikes your fancy? Oh, which one, guys? Let me know in the live stream. We've got a, a katana and a akuka. I, I'm assuming the katana is the biggest one. Dildos! Katana. We've got katana twice. Okay, we're gonna go with katana. <clears throat> ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. Damn. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kind of like this. Oh yeah, we like dancing around in the local McDonald's with a katana. <laughs> yeah. Or like this. The police will turn up for this, I'm sure. What about this? What about suck my dick? <laughs> I 
Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting we immediate go. backup. I so sold this coming. Huh? Oh, <clears throat> crap! I mean... No, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Damn. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Station. Hands time. where I can see them too. I. But, but this isn't. He's growing his hands. Are you resisting you can't do an much. officer of the law? You're under arrest. The officer's shitting himself. You were taken to the police station to Yakuza and as suspected. Yakuza and as suspected. Whatever. Whatever said, I just said in my own language. <laughs> you didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. Damn. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Yeah, ran away from home, ran away to your bedroom. <laughs> hey! Did he say Amagi? He really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. Lol. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. I promise you it would not. Whoa, pardon me. Well, you, you fought it? Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? I've seen at your mom's place, boy! <laughs> oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Yeah, she took the big, large penis. Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But... People have been turning up dead on foggy days. So, by the way, oh, I did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? I pressed early then, sorry guys. Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamana was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. 